Hello, my brethren. Briars. Brothers. And sisters. Happy International Pipe Smoking Day. First one for me. Uh, I was actually looking forward to this today. It's been too busy uh, this morning to get it in. And I thought I would do it this afternoon while the kids were taking a nap because school was canceled because we have a state of emergency. It, there was no emergency today. The kids could have easily went to school. So, here I is. Grand Duke. Uh, there you go. You've seen it before. Uh, or maybe you haven't. Welcome along. With some Escudo Navy de Loch. That you say it. I think I've got th three medallions in here. Did you guys see that Pipes and Cigars had a $75 deal for International Pipe Smoking Day? You get a pipe, a pipe pouch, a pipe tool, pipe cleaners, um, and I think three, three things of tobacco for like 75 bucks. I thought that was just crazy. Um, there were some nice pipes. Some Rossies. I think a Stanwell. Big Ben. It's basically a couple of smooths. A Sandblast. Uh, bent, straight. I mean, it was really nice. I had this Escudo a couple weeks ago, I think, no, maybe a week ago. Um, just one flake, real quick, to just kind of test it, taste it. And it was really good. I didn't have it in this pipe. I had it in uh, that bent Belmont. That was really good in there. I think it's holding up pretty well in this. Thankfully, I had today off, and I got tomorrow off. I'm going to uh, the Madison Fishing Expo at the Alliant Energy Center. And it's like the Midwest's largest fishing show. And it's a non-profit thing. The money goes to somebody. So they're going to have a uh, live trout pond. That you can fish in. Uh, kids 14 and under are free. Adults are 10 bucks. Plus you got to pay for parking. But it should be sweet. I'm glad I get to go. I started watching 
the uh, the new RoboCop. And if you're raised in the '90s, you'll know what I mean. Born in the '80s, raised in the '90s, you remember RoboCop as I remember RoboCop. So you have that nostalgia of what RoboCop was. This RoboCop is, of course, a lot better graphics, a lot better uh, cinematography. I don't know how the storyline, of course the storyline is completely different. It still takes place in Detroit, but I, don't know, I can't make my mind up on it yet. So if you guys are wondering about it, I can't give you any suggestions if you're somebody like me. Now, if you're a new kid, somebody who was born in the 90s and raised in the 2000s, and you've never seen the original, then this one will probably be awesome for you. Uh, oh, Sunday, me and my six-year-old went to see the Lego movie in the uh, theater here in town. That was his first movie ever. He had a blast, man. He the whole time. He his eyes didn't move off that screen. You know, I think he only said two things the entire movie. And it was Dad, I'm hungry. Can I have some popcorn? That was it. I thought he was gonna be real fidgety and he was gonna be you know, wanting to move and not be able to sit through the whole thing. But man, I was I was very proud of how he acted. And that little thing was packed. And the movie had started, we were five minutes into the movie, and there were still people coming in. There was only like three seats throughout the whole thing, and they were spread, <laughs> spread out, so people were coming in together, but they had to sit separately. It was nuts. So I got the Drew Estate meat pie. That's pretty good. Uh, the Scudo is good. I haven't smoked any of that Orlick Golden Sliced. I'm saving that for springtime. Man, the last couple days here have been really nice. It was like 44 a couple days ago. And like 38, 40, somewhere in there the day before. Today was like 36, 37. It was raining, you know, some of the day. But still really nice. Tomorrow's going to suck, though, because it's going to get cold and all this rain. It's going to freeze. And then we'll be back in the deep freeze <laughs> until who knows when. But at least we got to taste a little bit of spring before we get thrown back into winter. I do want to say thank you to Joffrey. You go and visit his channel. If you don't, Joffrey the Giant or his blog, joffreythegiant.blogspot.com. Great stuff on there. Hello, sir, if you watch this. Now, the light doesn't do my beard any justice, but it is coming along. I wanted to ask how your beard oil was going that your wife made. My wife also followed suit upon my request and made some beard oil for me, which has been working excellently if that's a word. I've uh, been putting it in like twice a day. Get out of the shower, put it on, rub it into my face, and rub it into my hair, and then later in the day I'll put just a little bit in, mostly in the goatee, to uh, keep that soft. It's actually softened up quite a bit uh, just in the last week that she's made it. And um, I ordered a dram 
of um, bay rum scented beard oil from Craftsman Soap Company on Etsy. They're out of California. And he's got a lot of great soaps and a lot of beard oil to choose from. Uh, so if you want to go check him out and send him some business, uh, nice guy. Uh, Craftsman Soap Co. is what you look for. And it's, uh, it's basically an eighth of an ounce. Just a wee little, wee little thing. About the size of like half of my pinky. <clears throat> it's basically like the, uh, the old bottles of the old little um, glass tubes of cologne that we used to get that were attached to those cards. You pull the plastic top off. It's about that much. He had hops flower, he had uh, pine, pine tree, something like that, bay rum, tobacco, unscented, citrus, bunch of stuff. So I said, hey babe, can I order a wee dram? beard oil from this guy. It's five fifty, and uh, just, you know, to test it out. She said, sure. Go for it. It got here in two or three days, which wasn't bad. Didn't cost me like two dollars for shipping. Showed up. I smelled it, and it smelled kind of medicinal. His had more oil, seed oil in it than mine did. We used jojoba, vitamin E. Yeah, jojoba and vitamin E. I don't think she put anything else in it but just those two. And then the scents, the oils. And his was heavier. But it didn't smell as good. Now, I have a soap that's bay rum and lime from another Etsy store that the wife bought me. And I love the smell of that. It smells great. So I was thinking that the bay rum stuff with the bay rum lime soap would really complement each other well. Sadly, it did not. The bay rum smelled just kind of like medicine. It had a medicinal kind of like eucalyptus smell to it. It wasn't... It was not the bee's knees. So, wifey's beard oil one on that one. Uh, the one she made me, I think has just a drop of grapefruit in it. Texas cedar wood. A couple drops of that. Some bergamot. And I think lemongrass. Or it might not have grapefruit in it. Uh, she, she made me some. She made my brother some. And then she uh, scented up the beard butter for me. But, uh, her beard oil one, hers was, hers is really good. <laughs> she also made some poopery, which smells kind of like Fruit Loops, which is better than what comes out. Uh, yeah, good times. It's kind of getting stuff done. Hope you guys are all doing well. I don't really think I have too much more to say that can be productive this evening. Oh, I did want to thank Joffrey for one other thing I saw in his video. Uh... He was opening a, a beer bottle with his wedding ring. And I thought, hey, that is pretty slick. Because you don't always have a bottle opener on you. Well, I do. I keep it in my wallet. It's a real slim piece of steel. But it's not great for opening bottles. 
but it'll work. I got it out of some Miller Lite 12 pack or something, or six pack of cans that you're supposed to pop a top and hit some kind of flow escape hatch thing. I don't know. Stupid. But I tried it today. I was eating some, uh, eating kind of a late lunch. Wife made some BLTs, phenomenal. And she said, you want a beer? And I said, ooh, that sounds good, thank you. I would like a Abbey Ale from New Belgium Brewing Company. And she brought it over to me and I used my ring. Stuck it right, I think if this is the, the lid here, just under the, the lid, did that. Boom, popped it right off. You know, you got to have a man-sized ring to do that with. You can't be doing it with a real thin band. I think it would probably scratch it up or break it. So Scudo is some good stuff, man. Thanks to my brother for recommending it to me. But, I'm gonna sign off. Go wash up and watch some Chuck with my my wife. That's our that's our evening highlight. She likes it and I like it. So we watch it together every night. We do two or three episodes before we go off to bed. So happy International Pipe Smoking Day everyone. My brethren and sister in worldwide. I don't have anything for you to remember other than have a great day tomorrow and make the most of it. Viacom deals.